thank you for joining me today as I tell you what I will be using for my ninth grader this 2021-2022 school year. My name is Rachel. I have four boys. Um, this will be my third one. I have my third child is in ninth grade this year. <laughs> my oldest is in his second year of college and then I have a 12th grader and then this ninth grader and I have a fourth grader. So today we're going to be talking about my, my ninth grade curriculum. Um, we will start off by talking about what we are going to be using for math. Um, we're going to use Saxon Algebra 1 and with that he is going to be using the Art Read DVDs. Um, there is a DVD for each day. He watches Mr. Reed give the lesson and then he is able to work through that. So, and that's what he'll be doing for math. Now for our language arts, we are going to be using, for grammar, we'll be using the IEW Fix It. Um, the first, this is the second book, I'm sorry, Robin Hood. He is doing um, two days work in one day. So he's doing two weeks in one week. So he should be finished with this by the first semester. And then if that goes as planned, he will start with the Winston Grammar. This is the advanced level. It's a higher high school level. And um, my both my older boys use this and it's good preparation, so. We have used the IEW um, over the years. Um, my ninth grader this year I know has watched the Level B DVDs, but this year we are just going to be using a, um, one of their themed books, Modern World History Based Writing Lessons. I think this might be for the younger grades or at least middle school, but this is what he wanted to do and he picked it and I said that was fine. Um, this interests him and um, we'll see how that goes for him. We also have some literature books. Right now I've just picked out four literature books um, that we will either, um, I have a study guide for it or we will be getting a study guide for it. And the first one is Men of Iron and the study guide is there with it. I have the Swiss Family Robinson and I have a study guide for that. Captain Courageous. I don't have a study guide for that, but I have found one online. It'll be a printable, so. And the bronze bow. So that's what we will be using for language arts. Um, for a bulk of our program, I will be using Heart of Dakota World Geography. And um, this is like a Charlotte Mason type curriculum. They have um, daily lessons which include everything from math to world geography to foreign language to um, logic. We'll be doing that this year. It also does include their own Bible. I mean, I'm sorry, yes, their own Bible, which we will be using their Bible memory for that. But it also includes their own math and their language arts. Those we will not be using, but I think everything else we will be using from Heart of Dakota. I'm going to start off with their science because that is new to us. It is integrated physics and chemistry from Paradigm Acceleration Curriculum. And they have the student book with the questions. They also have a lab. We, I should have brought the huge box of lab over here and they have a lab book that they will be working through with that. And the daily lessons are in this manual. It tells you each day what to do. Even for lab, it'll tell you what to pull out, what to use. So it's very helpful. And that's what he'll be using for science. Um, for logic, I also want to say that this program is a four day a week program. So I wanted to mention that. It gives you an extra day if you have electives or other hobbies that your teen is interested in or even a co-op. So um, 
for logic the first semester, they'll be using the fallacy detective. And this is all part of Heart of Dakota's curriculum. And I think their logic is a half a credit. And then they'll be using the art of argument. Um, this is, my oldest boy used this program, the Heart of Dakota, and my second son did. And then this is my third time using it. So um, with my first son, he we actually found the DVDs. Now these are not in the Heart of Dakota program, but he's very visual and I was like, oh, they have DVDs. And he did use these. Uh, my second son just read through the book and followed along. I'm not sure what my ninth grader will do this year. So, but I wanted to at least mention that. Now, for the history, um, it is a Charlotte Mason type. There's a lot of books, a lot of reading. Um, and there's spine books. And I'm going to mention those first. So, it is world geography. They will be talking, um, going along with world history, with the geography, the um, discovery of different things. And the first book is a book of discoveries. You'll be reading out of that. They also have The Seven Wonders of the World and the Archaeology book. I think this is put, yes, this is put out by Master Books. This is a good book. And also, with the mapping, it'll be Mapping the World with Art. There are DVDs. I don't think I actually have these over here. He has not used those yet, but the DVDs will guide you through the drawing of the different countries and the labeling. Um, I think he is not using the DVDs. It's not required. It actually has pages that will show you. Let's see. For example, India gives you um, the artistic way of um, just drawing it from each section and then it has it labeled. So, And they also have DVDs, um, Must See Places of the World. And in the book, they have a world geography you'll be reading every day, but then they also have the, um, the geography um, section itself, which would be where you would find the mapping the world with art, the DVDs. And for the history, they actually have um, notebook pages. And I have that this in a three ring binder. I have had it spiral bound before, but this year we just stuck it in a binder, some pages. But um, you do narrate once a week. You have to write a, a couple paragraphs about the section you read. Um, they have maps, pictures, sometimes they have some extra writing. So that is the history itself. Now in the book, they also do have a foreign language, which is Spanish. And the first year, it's only half a credit, but we are not using that this year. My son is interested in French, which we have not picked out a curriculum yet for that. But um, so if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear what you are using. Um, but with the history also comes the section they have called Living Books. It is not absolutely required, but it does um, emphasize the history and they are very good reads. So let me share those books with you. And these are not something, like I said, that you need so it doesn't correlate with the, um, the notebook pages. Those are information from the spines. But, and I don't know if these are in exact order, but the first book is The Sign Above the Door. The Silk Road, I don't think these are in order. Wilfred Grenfell, this is actually Unit 21. I have it written on some of the books, <laughs> so it's later on. Longitude, Big John's Secret, The King's Fifth. I have two books and I'm not sure which one actually goes with the curriculum. I think originally I found in the days of Drake and then I may have found the book that goes with it under Drake's flag. So I might just leave it up to him which one he wants to read. There are some audios 
this is your story hour and um, this is about um, Antarctica I think so there are some story hours there is also another audio um, the captive from Lamplighters as one of the reads and one of the Christian heroes Florence Young Queen Sheba's Ring and God Spoke to Byton. I think that's how you say it. So, and I think that is all of the books. I'm not really sure because when I first bought this program, I didn't really buy it in one bulk. I bought them sort of separately. So, um, I think that's all of them though. There might be, I might be missing a few. Now, they also have a world religion credit um, that's a half a credit and that also has notebook pages and books that go along with that and I just have the notebook pages in the back of this notebook Let's see yeah so um, just a lot of writing there's some charts um, and stuff like that it's not as many pages as the history notebook but I'll share those books with you. Okay, the first one which was we enjoyed was But Don't All Religions Lead to God? Um, and I don't know if these are in order. God's Global Mosaic. I Dare to Call Him Father. Um, not sure how you say that, but it's one of the Christian heroes, Sundar. Fine. I'm not sure how you say that. And then World Religions and Mimosa about Amy Carmichael. So I think that's all that I have for my ninth grader. Um, if you have any questions about the curriculum or any of my choices, I would love to hear your comments below. I will be doing a video in a little bit more depth about Heart of Dakota and um, the manual and how it works and what else is in it. So it is a high school curriculum. It um, shows you how to give the credits. Um, so it's very helpful for that first year of high school. Um, I used it for my first one in ninth grade and um, it, it was very helpful in so many ways. So um, I appreciate you watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.